Hello, how are you? I hope you are okay. Well, I will explain to you uh, what are the things you have to do for modules one and four. Let's start with language, yes? So, uh, language two, trabajo práctico number one. Here, you have to choose uh, between, among, sorry, 10 or 15 adjectives to describe yourself. And you have to write a composition stating the reasons for choosing a particular adjective or telling why you consider yourself to be reliable or creative or selfish, perhaps. And that would be a good way to express yourself and to tell me a little bit about you. So in that way, I will also be able to know you better. Then you have a multiple choice exercise, yes? That's enough for language. Now let's go to grammar. Grammar. Well, uh, in the first exercise, exercise A, you have questions. You have to make the questions and please pay attention to the tense in which the answer is, yes? So I went to Brazil on holiday last year. So pay attention to the tense so that you can ask the question in the same tense. In the second exercise, you have to, to say which tense you have there in that sentence. For example, they ate a lot of pasta and you have to say whether it is present simple, present continuous, past simple or past continuous. And in the last exercise, you have to choose the correct relative pronoun. And that would be all for grammar first time. Then we have language one. Language one, give me a second. Trabajo practico number four from language one. Well, here you have three interactive sheets. Uh, remember that you must, they are on reported speed, which is a very important grammatical point. So uh, do it consciously and remember that once you have finished doing it, check your answers and then please send me the whole page. I need all the page, yes? So that I can see the mistakes and correct if there is something that it is not clear. And then the last a uh, task we have today is from um, grammar two, module four, and you have a quiz based on being polite, how to soften your English. Before doing this quiz, you have to go to the module, yes? You have to go to module four, page 18 where you can find uh, this topic, being polite, how to soften your English, yes? Because you know that in English, politeness is considered to be important, to be very important, in fact. So let's see one example that we have here. And um, sometimes we must soften requests or suggestions and questions by using past forms, continue forms, or both. If you say, pick me up on your way to the party this evening, that would be sound, that would sound kind of rude, and it would sound, it will sound like an order perhaps. But if you soften it by using past forms and saying, I was wondering if you could give me a lift later, that would be much more polite. So, you read the theory that you have here, and then please do the quiz. And well, 
that would be all uh, for the tasks uh, you have to do. And if you have any doubt, please uh, don't doubt in asking me. Uh, you can send me a message through the platform. Bye-bye.